what it takes to be a successful business owner? We're gonna answer that question in this video. Okay, let's rock, let's make it happen. So remember, success is defined from each person differently than another, right? So if you think about it, you have to first define what your level of success is gonna be. Is it this much money? Is it this much freedom? What is success in your mind? So before you get into business, think to yourself, write, jot everything down on a piece of paper and find out exactly what success is defined as in your mind. Because ultimately that's all that matters is how you define success. But if you're asking me for what qualities do I need to possess to be successful, that I can help you with. I can't, I can't pick exactly what you want, but I can tell you what you're gonna to need to possess in order to maintain success in a business. So things like being highly driven, highly motivated, being relentless. You have, to have, you have to have this just uncanny ability that no matter what kind of a day you're having or if there's not a lot of customers or things aren't going perfect, you've got to just have that relentless ability to say, this is just one day, tomorrow's a new day, and we're gonna crush it tomorrow. So having a drive and having an ability to just know that you believe in yourself and can make it happen, that's what's huge. So don't listen to what other people say. One of the things I think that's most comical is that a lot of us tend to believe what others think of us or what they think we can do or what we can't do. Isn't that crazy? That people actually are trying to tell us, hey, you can't do that or that's crazy. You'll never make that happen. Ah, that's, that's BS. Never believe that. You get to create your own reality. You get to decide your future and what you're gonna make out of your life. So if you wanna be successful, it's ultimately up to you. And half those people in high school or college or whoever that were the naysayers that were telling you there's no way you can make it happen, half those people are never gonna be in your life. Maybe 90 plus percent of them you'll never talk to, you'll never communicate with. So ignore them. Just let, let the, all the words go in one ear, out the other, just throw them out the back. Hey, let's think of this example. Michael Jordan got cut from basketball, from high school basketball. There was a coach that cut Michael Jordan. So if Michael Jordan gets cut, one of the best, if not the best NBA player in the history of playing basketball, and he still said, even though people must have told him, uh, maybe you should try to do something else with your life, or maybe you're not cut out for it or whatever, were they right? Look what we would have all missed out on. We would have missed out on Jordan and all of his excellence and all those years of championships and, and, and Gatorade commercials and all that fun stuff. So Michael Jordan was the one that decided that he was gonna be successful. He decided that and he made it happen and you need to do the same. So think along those lines. And remember, there's no straight line to success. You don't just get into business and people aren't just lucky. They don't just, oh, they just, that person's lucky. They just became successful. If you pull each and every one of those people and you interview them and you say, hey, tell me your life story from the time you had nothing to the time you became this self-made multimillionaire or billionaire, wherever they're at, tell me your storyline of success. And let me tell you what it's going to be. It's going to be like a bunch of stuff happened and then a bunch of terrible stuff happened and this happened and then a bunch of terrible stuff happened. So it's like, Success, failure, success, failure, some success, lots of failure. That's what these people go through. So not everybody, I mean, I don't, I really just, I can't think of anybody that's self-made that just went like this straight arrow up to the moon. Now, obviously, say like a professional athlete, they might just you get drafted and get a huge contract and from the public's perception, oh, they're successful. But are they? Maybe they're a failure in their marriage. Maybe they're a failure with their family, with their relationships, and there are other, other aspects of their life. You know, maybe they're gonna run through that money and then they won't be a success, right? They, they make a bunch, but then they lose it, and then they end up not having anything, or you know, some of them just end up not so good. So remember, success, in the end, is, is everybody's vision, each person's own vision of what it is. It's easy for us as critics to look at somebody else's life and say, oh, they're successful, oh, they're not successful, but what did it take to actually get there? That's what you have to think about, okay? So once you've decided exactly where you wanna go, now you've gotta make it happen. Now it's up to you. And so what you do is you can disappoint all those naysayers, it's simple. Just put in the extra work. Just outwork everybody else. Just keep pushing through life 
And eventually you're just gonna keep treading, keep treading, keep treading, and you're gonna realize that you're gonna get better and better and better at your trade, at your business. Over time, you're gonna get so good that it's just gonna become inevitable that your business succeeds. Now in the definition of a successful business, you know, we've talked about this in a prior video. Ultimately, the number one goal of business is to make money. We've talked about that. But there's other things that you're doing. Are you providing a, you know, great goods or services to your local community? Are you making an impact, right? Maybe you're involved in charity, things like that. There's so many factors that determine a business's success. Are your employees happy working for you? Do you have a great work environment? There's so many things, right? So if you're able to, to keep going and improving, we always talk about constant and never ending improvement, can or can I, C-A-N-I. If you can keep going through life and continue to improve and make your business better, it's just naturally, it's going to succeed. And, it, and if you're like me, no matter what you get to, you keep raising the bar. So I get to this point and then that's not good enough, you raise the bar. Because as humans, we wanna keep growing. We want more, that's just, that's just how human nature is. Because when we're not growing, sometimes we feel dead inside. You know what I'm talking about? Have you ever felt that? Where you're not growing, you're just stagnant for a while, nothing's happening, you feel almost empty. And it doesn't matter how much money you have at that point. You have people that are multi-billionaires and billionaires that are miserable. And they, it could be for various reasons, but a lot of times it's because they're not growing. They just reach the, the top of the summit. They realize, wow, this is all it's caked out to be. I don't have a lot of friends up here because not everybody's rich like me. And you know, when these people are talking, that's what they're saying. That's, that's truly what a lot of their thoughts are. There's some people that are self-made multimillionaires or billionaires that are content, that have found levels of fulfillment in their life, which is great. That's fantastic. And that's the key here. Success and trying to make money, you know, that's a science. That's something I can teach you. That's something we can, that, that can be taught how to make money. But being fulfilled, right? That's, that's an art. That's something you have to learn. That's within. You have to learn how to find that self-fulfillment. You know, here's an interesting story. You know, I, I try not to say names or anything like that. I know several people in my life, and there's one person right now that I'm thinking about that has made quite a bit of money in their life. And anytime I talk to them or see them or, or have, you know, you know, seen them go on vacation or whatever, they just don't seem very happy. And I, I, I just tend to wonder, man, they made all that money in their life. They worked their tail off just to get to that point. And they can basically have anything that the average person would ever want, any material thing, they could go on any vacation, but yet it's never good enough. No matter how much this person makes, it just isn't good enough and they're just not happy. If they go on vacation, they don't even wanna be there because there's just no happiness, there's no fulfillment. So Tony likes to say it, I love this when he says it, is success without fulfillment is the ultimate failure. And he might say something a little bit different, but that's the meaning. Success without true fulfillment is the ultimate failure because here's what you did. You signed up, you set goals, you said, I'm gonna open this business and you created this incredible business and you made millions and millions of dollars and you're financially free and everything and then when you get there, you're not happy. Well, what was the point of all that work if you're not happy? And that's why a lot of times people go through midlife crises, they don't know what to do. But a lot of these people that have money they think they're gonna die with it. They think they're gonna have it forever. They're not, they're not taking it with them. What's it there for? Well, if I was that person, if I had all that disposable, if I really had made it to that level, I would be thinking, okay, let me make sure I get all the things when I was a kid that I want, right? Material things, okay, great, check, check, check. And now what would matter to me would be creating impact and helping others. Because that's all that truly matters in this world when you leave it is the impact that you leave on others, right? So create a legacy, start building something that'll give you fulfillment because clearly money's not giving you the fulfillment. So why the heck are you still chasing money? Why are you trying to make money? You don't need any more of it. You don't have to work anymore. And that's, that's, that's where you don't wanna end up. So notice, as you're succeeding in your business, take little timeouts to celebrate those victories. And do something fun, whether you go to the lake or you go on a vacation or you buy a new car or you buy a boat. Again, make sure it's affordable. Don't say, well, Bayman told me to just go buy a bunch of stuff. No, well, that might hamper your growth, but do stuff to celebrate your achievement. So that way you feel that reward and that happiness from within. So understand that being a successful business owner is more than just money. For me, if you wanna ask me, I love it when I see that people working for me are enjoying their work. 
that's fulfillment for me is that I created this business that provided these jobs and I've got these awesome people working for me and they enjoy it and they enjoy having me as a boss. That is, that's huge success for me. And then creating a business, whether it's products or services where you're, you're allowing people to have a good time. So let's say the trading card business where we sell like Pokemon cards, right? So these kids, these eight, 10 year old kids, they have their parents come in and they buy stuff and look at the smiles on their faces and we might run a league or tournaments and things like that and these kids are having a blast. That's fulfilling, that's success right there, right? Having an axe throwing place and seeing people come in and have a good time and watch sports and make memories. That's success, especially when you're making money. So the, the key qualities that I would say that you're gonna need to have, I know I got kind of off on a tangent, but I really hope that sinks in. This might be one of those videos where you wanna watch two or three times to really let that information sink in. It's powerful stuff. It's stuff I've learned from people that are much older than me. So understand that that's very learned behavior, very learned concepts, and it's stuff that you've really gotta let sink in. But what it takes to be successful is like I said earlier, you have to have this relenting heart and soul to succeed. And when things try to knock you off your rocker and try to get you out of a straight line, you, people are gonna try to make you not successful. They're gonna, people are gonna wanna want you to fail, right? Especially your competition. But believe it or not, there's people that you came, you know, you cross paths with and things like that. They don't, they don't want you to succeed. They wanna see you fail. So prove them wrong. You know, I, I remember I saw this thing either online, I remember it was on Facebook or where it was, but it was one of the most powerful things I'd ever heard. It said, people are holding their breath, hoping that you'll fail. Disappoint them and let them suffocate. It's like one of the most crazy things I ever heard, but if you got people holding their breath, hoping you fail, well, if they hold their breath forever and they don't breathe for oxygen, they're gonna die, right? But that's a little extreme, but that was such a powerful message. And what that means is, no matter how hard it is, you gotta keep driving, you gotta make changes. You have to do whatever it takes to go through it. Now, you're gonna need people skills. You're gonna have, you're gonna have to have some good ability because you're gonna be the one hiring people, especially if you're a small business. If it's just you or your spouse and you're just starting the business, you're gonna have to be able to interact with people. So you're gonna have to have good people skills to ability to hire people and have them believe in your dream, this business that you created. You know, not everybody wants to be a business owner, but some of them wanna work for a business owner that has a, a goal in mind, right? That has a vision that they believe in or something that aligns with their values and their interests and their fun, right? And so they said, well, I wanna find a fun job. I'll go work for somebody. I don't wanna have my own business. A lot of employees are like that. They're, they never wanna have their own business, but they wanna work for somebody that is fun to be around. So you wanna make it fun. So you wanna have those people skills. You wanna have, like I said, that relentless ability to push through and get going. And you have to just know that if this is what you want, you can never, ever give up. You keep going and you keep going. If you have to get a second job or a third job to support it until it gets there, if you want it bad enough, I'm sorry for now, you gotta sacrifice and that's what you gotta do to make it happen. So anyways, I hope you found this video very helpful. If you liked it, please click the like button and don't forget to subscribe. If you subscribe, you're gonna get an email every single time that uh, I post a video and I'm trying to upload videos as much as I can. I'm doing my best to serve. I hope this video helped you out. Feel free to let me know if there's anything in this video you'd like to see a future video about, if there's any ideas, I'd love to help you. And remember, like I said earlier, never give up, push, push hard and be the hustler.